Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x cubed over 64 is equal to 64 over x cubed. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. First we use cross multiplication. We multiply this x cubed by this x cubed. We multiply this 64 by this 64. So this will become x cubed times x cubed is equal to 64 times 64. x x cubed times x cubed is equal to this 64 is same as 4 cubed times 4 cubed. This x cubed times x cubed will become x cubed whole squared is equal to this 4 cubed times 4 cubed will become 4 cubed whole squared. Move this 4 cubed whole squared to the left hand side. This will become x cubed whole squared minus 4 cubed whole squared is equal to 0. Now we have a difference of 2 squares. So we use this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This will become x cubed plus 4 cubed times x cubed minus 4 cubed is equal to 0. From here is this expression x cubed plus 4 cubed is equal to 0 or this expression x cubed minus 4 cubed is equal to 0. We have sum of 2 cubes so we use this algebraic identity a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. So this will become x plus 4 times x squared minus 4 times x plus 4 squared 16 is equal to 0. Now either this expression x plus 4 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared minus 4 times x plus 16 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of x is equal to negative 4. And from this uh, quadratic equation we can rewrite this equation as uh, x squared minus uh, this 4x is same as uh, 2 times uh, x times uh, 2. So to complete the square in this expression we add 2 squared. To balance this we subtract 4 and this uh, plus 16 will remain same plus uh, 16 is equal to 0. Now by using this uh, algebraic identity a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared. This uh, x squared minus 2 times x times 2 plus uh, 2 squared will become x minus 2 whole squared. This in negative 4 plus 16 will become plus 12 is equal to 0. Move this 12 to the right hand side. This will become x minus 2 whole squared is equal to negative 12. Now we take square root of both sides. So this uh, square will be cancelled out with this uh, square root and we are left with uh, x minus 2 is equal to plus minus root negative 12. Next x minus 2 is equal to this uh, plus minus uh, root negative 12 can be written as uh, plus minus root 4 times uh, root negative 1 times uh, root 3. Next, 
x minus 2 is equal to plus minus a root 4 will become 2 and this root negative 1 will become i times root 3. Move this negative 2 to the right hand side this will become x is equal to 2 plus minus 2 i times root 3. This is the second and third value of x and first we found the first value of x is equal to this negative 4. First we found that x is equal to negative 4. So, from here we get three solutions. First is negative 4 and second and third is 2 plus minus 2 i times root 3. Now we solve the second case. In second case we have this equation x cubed minus 4 cubed is equal to 0. In second case we have x cubed minus 4 cubed is equal to 0. Difference of 2 cubes so we use this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a times b plus b squared. This x cubed minus 4 cubed will become x minus 4 times x squared plus 4 times x plus 4 squared means 16 is equal to 0. From here either this expression x minus 4 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus 4 times x plus 16 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of x is equal to 4. And from this quadratic equation we can regard this equation as x squared plus this 4x is same as 2 times x times 2. To make this a perfect square we end in this expression plus 2 squared and to balance this we subtract 4. This plus 16 will remain same plus 16 is equal to 0. Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity a squared plus uh, 2ab plus uh, b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. This uh, x squared plus uh, 2 times x times 2 plus uh, 2 squared will become x plus 2 whole squared. This uh, negative 4 plus 16 will become plus uh, 12 is equal to 0. Move this 12 to the right hand side, this will become x plus 2 whole squared is equal to negative 12. And from here we take square root of both sides. So, this square will be considered with this square root and we are left with x plus 2 is equal to plus minus root negative 12. X x plus 2 is equal to plus minus this root negative 12 can be written as root 4 times root negative 1 times root 3. Next x plus 2 is equal to plus minus root 4 will become 2 and root negative 1 will become i times root 3. Move this 2 to the right hand side, this will become x is equal to negative 2 plus minus 2i times root 3. So, from here we get uh, fifth and sixth value of x, x5 is equal to negative 2 plus 2i times root 3 and uh, x6 is equal to negative 2 minus 2i times root 3. And first we found that uh, x4 is equal to 4 and uh, x1 negative 4, x2 and 3, 2 plus minus 2i times the root 3.
x1 is equal to negative 4 and uh, x2 is equal to 2 plus uh, 2 i times uh, root 3 and uh, x3 is equal to 2 minus 2 i times uh, root 3 and uh, x4 is equal to positive 4. So, we have uh, 6 solutions of uh, this equation.